Good morning and welcome back to Ginger Welsh Allotments. It is very cold and windy today and I've just been doing what I think is going to be the last of my tomato harvest outside my house. Um, I'll show you the plants now as they're dying away and uh, then I'm going to head over to the allotment but I don't really want to go. I want to stay in the house with a cup of tea when it's warm. Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine once I get going. I'll show you those plants now. Here's the harvest from this morning. As you can see, it's a good little haul again. Two green tomatoes, which uh, the stem came off the plant. So I put them in there and I'm gonna put them in the greenhouse to ripen. And before you go any further, I want to show you this rose because this rose bush, bless it, has moved around from pillar to post and um, we've moved it. When we first moved it, it was in May, which is like the worst time to move it. And we moved it to a position over there, then we moved it again, and then we moved it once more. And it's still alive, which just goes to show you that if you really want to move your rose bush, your rose bush will survive. And I also wanted to show you the lovely colors of the pansies. I'm very happy with these pansies. I'm not much of a flower person. So um, I thought this year I'd try and make an take an interest and um, I'm really pleased. I think they add a lovely splash of colour to the outside of the house. And hopefully when the tomatoes are finally finished, um, I'll put some pansies up there as well. So here are the tomato plants. As you can see, there's a lot of dye back on them now. And um, these tomatoes are almost ripe. They're not quite there yet. But I'm thinking the time might have come for me to just take off all the remaining tomatoes and put them in my greenhouse, ready to ripen. I got my pumpkin harvest, well some of my pumpkin harvest, in the greenhouse. I need to wash these pumpkins because I haven't done that yet. And I got some beans there. The beans are probably dry though. And my tomatoes can go in their place. I got a few chilies down there. And I got a couple of a couple of red peppers there. So that's what's going on in the greenhouse. So I'm gonna get my stuff together now and head over to the allotment. And I'll see you over there in a few minutes. Ta-da! Here I am over on the plot. So I'll take you around the plot and I'll show you the jobs that I want to do today and some of the jobs that I want to get done in the next few weeks. So one of the jobs I want to get done today is to harvest my potatoes as um, they, they really need harvesting now. And I've also brought over my pot of carrots. Now, I'm not holding out much hope for those carrots because I don't know if you remember my previous uh, carrot unveiling, shall we call it? And they were dreadful. And I planted the, these ones at the same time, so I'm expecting them to be dreadful. Um, I've got my sprayer with some um, soap, uh, wash it up liquid, to spray my brassicas over there, as they've got covered in white fly. So I've got the water and the spray gun in there. I've got my gloves in there to try and keep my hands warm. And over here, um, I need to hoe around my strawberries because as you can see, they're getting a bit weedy now. So I'm gonna hoe around the strawberries and do my potatoes today. And this patch here, um, I won't, I probably won't do this today, but I want to dig up this bit and that wooden trough over there and that wooden one behind that pallet. Um, I'm going to put here and fill with some compost and soil and I'm going to put the remaining strawberry plants that I've got in there because I've still got some sitting on my log store at home. Here is potentially a new blackberry plant. 
that I found the other day. Oh look, on my one of my um, blackberry poles has fallen down, so I need to repair that. So I'll be spraying all the brassicas today with the washing up liquid. Hopefully it'll stop the white fly. Need to uh, weed around my leeks as you can see. They um, get a bit weedy and pick some of my beetroot. Blimey, look at my bok choy! So we need to harvest some of that, harvest the outer leaves. And um, as you can see, my spring onions are shooting along too, and they need a bit of a weed too. But I don't know if I'll do that today. And Swiss chard has grown a lot, as you can see from where I planted it. And the cabbage looks like it's doing well too. And my recently planted cabbage and broccoli seem to be doing well they've grown as well now my beans are looking exceptionally sorry for themselves so I think they are going to be harvested and I'm going to take the rest of the plants down and um, I'll dry them like I dried the other ones and the ones that are still green I'll, I'll freeze those ones and then this patch here which has the pumpkins in I'm going to turn over and this is where I'm going to put my broad beans. Hopefully I shall do this soon. I won't do this today, I expect, but it's on my to-do list ASAP. So I'll be putting some overwintering broad beans in there. And this patch here, I'm going to try and dig over and get some green manure in for the winter. And if I don't get green manure in, then I'll dig it over and I'll probably just cover it with some black sheets that, that you get that you can cover them with. And over by the water um, containers, I've got those three pallets. I've also got a couple more pallets down there and I'm hoping to build a heap here, another heap so that the compost will compost quicker because it'll be um it won't be in such a big heap is my thinking so i'm gonna start by unearthing my potatoes i think so i'll catch you later so i'm gonna start with a great carrot reveal oh wait for it So I think they're all going to be like that. So um, that's not really very great, is it? But I'll crack on and get the rest harvested. So there it is, the great carrot harvest of October 2017. Not such a lovely job. Let's hope the potatoes yield a bit more. As usual, I've put the compost back in the pot ready to put on one of the beds when I dig it over. Right, time to crack on with the potatoes. So, before lunch, I harvested my potatoes and I've taken them home with me, so I'll show you them later because they're outside my front door. And I got on with the strawberries, I weeded the strawberries and I'll show you them now. So I weeded the whole strawberry patch and I also took the leaves off them. So I've trimmed everything back and I'm really hoping I've done the right thing. I left this little bit of growth on because it's so close to the ground. And um, I've done the same all along. The only thing is that now makes it really difficult to weed because they're not as obvious as when they had the leaves on. And the other thing was, I found a load of white fly on the leaves, so I'm going to go and give those brassicas a good old spray now and try and get rid of this white fly. So I've got some washing up liquid, some water and this big spray bottle. And I'm going to fill it with soapy water and then 
you use this top it's a bit awkward to do one-handed uh, that comes out and then you pump that down for about 20 times and then the spray comes out of the end so I'm gonna go on a tackles brassicas now and uh, I'll get back to you once I've done that so I was giving my brassicas a spray and can you believe it the spray can broke it started leaking from the bottom so I did manage to get them mostly done and at some point I should have to buy a new spray gun there's been a few casualties along the way today I've taken out this beanstalk because the sprouts look like they've blown and I've also taken all of the cauliflowers out because they were just like that and that's no good for anyone and as you can see all of this white fly on here came off all the dead leaves at the bottom so I'm not really sure how much purple sprout and broccoli we're going to get in the spring and I'm not really sure if we're going to have that many sprouts either because I thought we'd have had loads of sprouts but they don't seem to be growing very well because of this white fly I don't know can you see the they're, they're quite small on some of them uh, some of them are not too bad but the majority of them are small which isn't great and my leeks I've got quite rusty and I'm gonna have to start pulling them out soon as well so all in all it started out a good day but this afternoon's gone a bit downhill and I've just realized the time and I've got to go and get some fish food for my husband well not for my husband for my husband's fish because <laughs> I actually feed him food mostly vegetables from the allotment but um, if he's not careful he might end up getting fish food so when I get back home, I will show you the potato harvest I got this morning. So as promised, here is the potato harvest and the pitiful carrot harvest. There's one of my cats, Amber. There's some beetroot and a couple of sprouts. And as usual, there's some celery, which will take me forever to process. So apologies for the sound, uh, someone is mowing their lawn. So that is it from the allotment today. Um, it's been a bit of a mixed bag really. I'm a bit disappointed about the whole white fly issue and that the sprayer has broke. So now I've got to go and get a new sprayer. And I'm a bit disappointed about my leeks because they look like they've come to nothing. But I had a good potato harvest and a good tomato harvest. So yeah, it's, a bit, it's like that over the allotment. Some days are really good and great. And other days you get a lot done, but you feel like you haven't done much at all. And I feel like that today. But the potatoes are good. So all I can say about that is lovely job. Catch you next time.